Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share the 2023-2024 homeschool spaces that I created for the new homeschool year. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So today I just kind of wanted to share the spaces um, where I'm going to be storing some of our some of our homeschool things um, to try and make things e easier and more organized for us. I do want to say that in the past when my kids were young, um, I used to have an entire homeschool room. An entire bedroom in our home was a classroom. It, you know, chalkboard, whiteboard. It was a thing. Like it was a big thing and it was very useful when my kids were younger to have everything in one area, one room. Um, but as, you know, the years passed and my kids started getting older, we gravitated more towards the dining room table. Honestly, I think the biggest issue that we had with the homeschool room is that it was actually upstairs. And it just, it didn't, it wasn't like a natural <laughs> area that we gravitated to because, you know, we would go downstairs to get breakfast and to start our day and then come back upstairs into the homeschool room. I'm not saying that that wouldn't work for some people, but for us, we just ended up staying at the dining room table. So, you know, as the years passed, I ended up getting rid of the homeschool room. I ended up giving the bedroom actually to my oldest daughter so that she has her own room. My youngest has her own room. And we found it much easier, better, and natural for us to just use, you know, school at the dining room table, at least our together subjects. So today I kind of wanted to share how I'm storing certain things because now I don't have a classroom. I mean, as you can see, I have a large library in my loft, but I would have had this whether I homeschooled or not. I love books. So <laughs> this is something that would have happened, you know, no matter what. But I did kind of want to show you a few of the areas that I'm going to be using because some of these areas are new to us this year. Um, and it changes. It changes every single year the way that we do this. So I want to show um, how I store stuff downstairs. And then I wanted to show you how I store like independent work for my kids as well. So that's what we're going to do today. And let's just jump right into it. Okay, so in our coat closet downstairs is where I keep all of our games. So I do really like having our games downstairs. It's just really convenient. And this spot actually worked out perfectly because we're not really a coat closet family, <laughs> I guess you can say. Um, we do have like a little coat rack when you first walk in, but a whole closet, that was not needed. So <laughs> I do store all of our games on the back of the door. And then this cart... Um, I keep inside of the closet and it holds all of our additional art supplies that we only use sometimes. I just like to make sure that I have them down here um, for, you know, just, you know, to be more convenient. But it just where it's holding more pens like this, the scented pens, these Mr. Sketch. I used to love these when I was younger. Um, it has some more Crayola markers down here. Um, we have the double. What are these? The double lined pens my kids really like. Uh, more window markers. We have these everywhere because we love them. Chalk pastels. There's also paint trays, additional paint supplies like acrylic paint, washable paint, all of that. And then this second little um, shelf has puzzles. So I put all of our puzzles in these bags because a lot of the boxes were breaking. So I put them in these bags. So this is all puzzles. And then these are puzzles as well, but these are puzzles that are in their boxes still because their boxes are still in good condition. So yeah, I do like to keep a puzzle art cart down here as well. And I love it because when we're not using it, I could just push it into the closet and it's, you know, it seems more cleaned up, I guess you can say. So I do like to be able to move this around and I could actually roll this into my dining room anytime we need it. Um, and it's just very convenient. So we do keep it an art slash puzzle cart and then all of our games here. So here is our morning basket. Over here we have like some tadpoles. That was for an experiment. We're watching them turn into frogs. Um, but this here is our morning basket and it's sitting on top of a really old piano in our dining room. I don't I really didn't know where to put this. So right now it's on the piano in our dining room, but I'm not sure if it's gonna stay here for right now. This is where it's gonna go because we're starting school soon. But yeah, so this is where I'm keeping our morning basket stuff. And then just right over here in our dining room, we have this cabinet. 
Now, this is new to us this year, um, so I'm still kind of learning how I want to set this up, but I'm calling this our homeschool nature cabinet. And right up on top, I have our learning clock. Back here, these um, this little bin is for my daughter's homeschool, homeschool, not homeschool, what is it called? It's for her sixth grade read-alouds. I put the titles in here and she gets to, you know, be surprised in which one she picks. Um, it also has our wheel that we use all the time. So right on here, there's that. And then over here, it's just um, a candy jar. My kids wanted to keep this out. It belonged to their great grandparents and um, they just like to have it out with candy in it all the time. So that is there. And then this piece here, this is what I'm calling the nature cabinet. And inside the nature cabinet, we have some of our nature games. I do have more of these games, but these are the ones that we play the most. And they kind of go more with the topics that we're studying this year. So I pulled out these three. We have an art caddy that we can easily move to the dining room table. This one here has our watercolor and nature book that we're gonna be using on Fridays. I really wanted to incorporate watercolor and nature back into our homeschool. And I thought that this book looked absolutely beautiful. We have some paintbrushes back there. We have a butterfly puzzle and some of these really beautiful um, memory and matching games here. So there's those. And then this little basket is actually filled with wooden dogs. And these are stacking, like wooden stacking dogs. So you would just balance them out and stack them on top of each other. My youngest daughter really, really loves them. She also has cat stacking, uh, wooden stacking ones as well. Um, I think they're on the bottom of this, but yeah. So she really likes these, so I do keep these out and available to her. This one is out, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> This one is our watercolor notebooks and watercolor like palettes and paints and stuff. Down here I have our microscope. There are fossils in the back in that box. Extra slides where they can make their own little slides. We have pocket microscopes here. These wooden boxes are prepared slides. And then in this little basket, it's the prepared slides as well, but these are in plastic, they're not glass. So these are the ones that my youngest daughter uses all the time, like she'll take them outside with her pocket microscope and stuff. So that's what's inside the nature part of the cabinet. Now let's take a look at what's inside the actual drawers and stuff. So in here, I know it's a mess. <laughs> this is my stuff. So in here, this is all of our or all of my like teacher guides and books like that. My planner goes in here. My pens that I use are in here. And then up here, I just have a couple of like little notebooks in case I need them. I like to send out note cards to people sometimes. So I do keep some note cards in here. These are actually Mr. Rogers themed note cards, but these are in here. So if I need to send a note to anybody, those are here. I have my box cutter, my address stamp, and this is actually, <laughs> I do use this, but this is a Game Boy Advanced, or Advance, um, I said Advanced, Advance, you know, just whenever I feel like playing a game, I guess. I have some post-its, some stamps, and these are like birthday cards, um, like cards for specific occasions I guess you can say on this side um, I do like to keep them down here just in case you know I look in my planner and I realize somebody's birthday is coming up I could send them a birthday card so this part is primarily for me and then in here sorry if you can hear my washer and dryer in here we just have some more supplies for downstairs um, what, what is this oh that's a little measuring tape but we have like little clips uh, what are these called? Rubber bands, paper clips, tabs. I use these a lot as bookmarks. Um, these are little fun hole puncher, hole punch things. I also have like our Sharpies in here because I don't like to keep these um, down for my kids. And then I just have like some random pens, like highlighters, dry erase. There's even window markers, I think, on the bottom and a little hole punch. Now, I did want to keep a junk drawer. I know a lot of people don't like their junk drawer, but I do. This is where I keep batteries um, and 
like our lighters and stuff for candles. And I think I have large envelopes back here, just, you know, just in case. And there's like coin batteries on the side. And then this last one, this here is actually where I keep a lot of our history readers. And you can see I do label them so I know which one to read during which unit. There's also extra curriculum that I'll be using later in the year that we're not using yet. Um, and additional readers. This is a history game that my daughter is going to be using this year. So that is um, that last drawer. Now, on the side, this is where I keep our little pocket. It's like a, a tent and it has like writing. Um, uh, what is it called? Math and writing help, I guess you can say. But there's like these little inserts and stuff. And I just keep them on the side here because I have nowhere else to put them. And we will be using those all the time. So down here, underneath, as you can see, underneath the cabinet, this is all of my youngest daughter's independent work. We were going to put this in her room, but we decided that at least for the beginning of the school year, we're going to keep it down here and try and get started on this together. So this is all of like her math, language, arts, handwriting, all of that. This one is basically like a little technology bin. So this is where we keep like the wireless mouse. I think that's a portable TV, headphones, chargers, all of that in this one. And then this last one just has some snap circuits and some magnet tiles. This is just something my daughter likes to do um, during read aloud time. So that is that homeschool space. Okay, so now we are in Bella's room. This is her desk. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you how she keeps her stuff, her independent work for school. But here she has just a whiteboard that she uses. This top drawer is for math. So she has everything that she'll need for math here. Language arts, and this is a... Um, this book is one that I'm going to be reading alongside her. So she does keep this with language arts. Well, not alongside her. We're kind of doing like a book club where we're just going to read the same book at the same time and then talk about it. So she keeps that in here as well. This is one of her electives. This is world geography. And then she keeps her health course down here as well. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog walking around. He's pretty loud right now. But yeah, so that's where we keep my ninth graders independent work. And I'll show you where we keep her personal readers as well. So for Bella's readers, as you can see, this is her door. Um, my husband put these like floating little bookshelves behind her door. I thought it was a great way <laughs> to make more space. Um, but this is where she keeps her independent readers that we kind of planned for her to read for the school year. So this stuff on top is stuff that she, not all of it, like this isn't required, but she'll be reading The Pearl, Lord of the Flies, um, To Kill a Mockingbird. So this is a lot of her like independent reading for school. This is her fun reading. And then these are like her favorite like mangas and, and stuff like that. So we do keep some of our homeschool books back here that I map out for her, um, just so that it's all in one spot. Okay, so for Lydia, she just recently um, got a loft bed, which is, it has really helped out with space in her room. Um, and this one has like the built-in desk, which she really needed uh, a workspace in her room to do school. We're trying to get her to be a little bit more independent this year. And I think this desk is really going to help, but you know, she has her little light, some pens and stuff back there. And some, I think this is just more fun stuff right now, like coloring and sketching stuff. She hung little lights up here. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, and then this back here is um, a little cube storage that my husband put together um, for her. And this is holding a lot of her like homeschool supplies or art supplies. Over here, these are readers that she likes to have in her room. This is also where I'll be putting her independent readers once I get my life together <laughs> and actually pick those out. We start school tomorrow and I still haven't even picked out her independent readers but yeah let's just move past that <laughs> but once I do pick those out they will go there she also has a little cup of bookmarks right in there as well this is more notebooks coloring books journaling stuff all in here um, again we like to keep them all in one spot here is her own personal art caddy that she can move around her room so that she could you know take it to her desk and, and stuff like that she has an extra watercolor paint palette and her whiteboard now these down here 
it's primarily just like craft supplies, extra art supplies, but this is her personal stuff. So this is stuff just for Lydia. So in here she has her, you know, really fancy art markers and I think those are, what are those, colored pencils I think down there. Again, some more like markers and paint brushes. I think those are glitter markers in there. So yeah, just extra um, art supplies. This is a little, what is this one? Oh, this one has like her headphones for upstairs. I think there's a portable TV in there. Some chargers. My kids do have to sometimes use a little portable TV for certain lessons. So I do like to have, um, or portable DVD player. So I do like to have, you know, my kids have that in their room so that it's really easy. And then in this one, oh, this one is more of like a craft supply. We still have to hang up the toy hammock that I bought her. But most of this is just crafts. And then in here, this is... Oh, this is like her, um, like hygiene almost. It's like deodorant, body spray, lip gloss. And then down here, these are just like hair, yeah, hair accessories. So those are just hair accessories. But yeah, that's primarily where we keep a lot of her like personal or independent homeschool things. And then I'm really excited about her having her own desk in her room this year. I think it's going to make a huge difference. Okay, sorry it's dark in here. This over here is actually something we're giving as a donation. So just ignore this. But um, that's usually not there. But this is our new printer cart that I put together this year. My daughter's toys. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is a little printer cart. I like this so much better. Um, this is where I keep everything um, printer related. So as you can see, I didn't put away the ink I just ordered but we have all different papers and things like that we have our notebooks down here construction paper all of that's on here this here is where I actually put the things I print out anything that's in purple is stuff I need to take care of for my oldest anything in this like green is for my or teal is for my youngest daughter and the stuff that's not in a color is my stuff as you can see I'm I'm pretty far <laughs> behind when it comes to putting everything together I mean that that little bin is full and we again we start school tomorrow not even close to done but we'll get there okay yeah, so, so if you've been on my channel before you would have seen my home library probably but if you're new this is a little home library that my husband built inside of our loft and then he put cabinets on the bottom with this cute little fireplace and then all of our books you know there's the tv in the middle so this i love this space it's like my favorite room in the house but in here, again, as you can tell, this is where we keep all of our books. And then coloring books are in here. I'm not going to go into these too much because I did just do that in a video recently. But in here, I have like my binding machine. I guess I could give you a little peek. But yeah, see, I have like my binding machine, my laminator. There's a radio in there and a DVD player in case we need it. My coils for my binding machine are back there. Coloring books and kits for the kids. And then over here, these are just like backup supplies, tape, pens, markers, the little dots that I use. Um, if you see, my books have dots on them. There's different colored dots that help me organize my books. Those are back there. This is all like extra school supplies. This drawer is where my kids put their completed work. This has a whole bunch of experiments and um, subscription boxes in here. This one I think is a mess again. Oh no, it's not too bad. Um, this is where we keep extra, you know, school supplies as well. I think there's diamond art down here, candle making, soap making, um, extra crayons, pens, markers, things like that. Those are melty beads, bookends, my book glues down here. This tray has a whole bunch of like small, sorry for the shadow. It has a whole bunch of small craft supplies like googly eyes and pom poms and things like that that my kids pull out and craft with all the time. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go into too much, like I said in there, because I did just do that in a different video. I still haven't updated that. It still says Happy New Year. But this is just a little cork board, the calendar on it. <laughs> um, this is where I am keeping um, all of our who was, what was, where was books here. Um, we're actually doing kind of like a little reward system this year using these books. That's why I wanted to make sure that I had them easily accessible for my kids. I'm not mixed into, you know, the big library that we have. These here are Lydia's, um, what are they called? Read aloud choices. So these are the books that I'm going to be reading just to Lydia. And then these are our family read alouds. So they're all in one spot. 
So pretty much I like to separate the books that we're using during the school year so that I'm not digging and searching for a certain book. It just helps me out, <laughs> helps my brain stay organized. So that I think is the last spot that I needed to show you for our homeschool storage. I know it's a lot of little uh, areas all over, but this is what's working for us. And that new nature cabinet that I showed you earlier, I'm hoping that it works out the way that I set it up. If not, we will adjust it as needed. So, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.